Hello and good day to you. Here it is a DWP uh, video. It is uh, the 20 meter rule, which this is for PIP, PIP. If you are able to get around uh, in a um, fashion of using aids as well, so it's not just, um, you know, walking. If you can get around with aids or any sort of device more than 20 meters but less than 50 then you qualify for the what they would call the lower rate of pip mobility if providing of course you um, have the other uh, questions and you qualify and get the points necessary if you are in the um, 0 to 20 meter uh, area and that is the maximum amount that you can do then you will go for the uh, the maximum rate the higher rate of mobility um, and it comes with 12 points uh, there is a story here which they are clarifying uh, I don't know how much of it is going to be useful but hey let's have a look at the uh, article so they are clarifying this uh, 20 meter rule uh, because of the other things that are going on they've asked the DWP what assessments have been made of the potential merits of removing the 20 meter rule informal observations and the 50% rule from PIP assessments now obviously they've done the uh, WCA work capability assessment they're obviously going to remove that but not yet and uh, they're trying to get this so that you have one assessment for all benefits but it's probably not going to happen I mean they can do it they have um, you see the observations are limited to between the point at which the assessment actually begins and this is a informal assessment so it's not going to be like from when you pull up in a car park it will be from the time that your assessment begins to the time that it ends the health professional will be documenting observations so uh, how do you move around how are you how, how do you communicate how are you uh, with understanding questions how are you with answering the questions and moving around obviously that's quite important if you're going to be claiming the uh, PIP mobility side of it uh, obviously there is a care side uh, and it will be asking you questions what you can do all of this is informal observations carried out by health professionals so the uh, enhanced rate of the PIP was always intended to be for those unable or virtually unable to walk and the 20 meter rule was uh, put in place to make it really hard and to distinguish between those who can walk a, a little way and those who can't and uh, individuals who can walk more than 20 meters can still get the enhanced rate but obviously it would be quite difficult and of course you do need that 12 points to qualify we believe the current assessment criteria including the 20 meter rule are the best way of identifying people whose physical mobility is, is most limited so it doesn't really say that it just says that they're probably going to keep the 20 meter rule because it does clarify quite a lot who who should be in the higher rate and who shouldn't be in it but it is very like the most of these articles from the DWP um, it does leave you asking a lot of questions anyway that is it uh, I hope it was useful I'll put the link down below you can go and read it yourself if you want all right have a good day